So a couple Redskins nuggets here. This one made some news. Ryan Anderson, um, who will be entering his third year, linebacker from Alabama, um, apparently was mentioned in this Redskins Brawl podcast by a tight end by the name of Garrett Hudson, who's on the Redskins roster. Um, That's news to me. Garrett Hudson told a story from a couple years ago during practice when he was talking about how aggressive Ryan Anderson was. Mm -hmm. And he claims that this is the quote verbatim. He says that what Anderson said was, if I can remember my grandkids' names, then I didn't play the game right. And it was just saying that he's an absolute lunatic, um, even in practice with the big hits. Yeah. Uh, he was suspended, I believe, for a game last year uh, for a hit on Greg Olson, or ejected from the game. So he clearly doesn't care about his long-term health from the sound, the sound of that quote. I mean, well, I what I'd just... say is, how about actually making some actual plays on the field? <laughs> I think he's got, what, four sacks in a couple of seasons? He, I, I feel like he, I can't remember anymore. I feel like he, Six he came, I feel like he came on though, right? Maybe yeah, finally, feel, finally started to come on and make some plays. Maybe a little bit. I mean, I'm looking at his career stats. So, 43 career games, he's had four starts, mm-hmm. 77 tackles, six sacks, 15 recorded quarterback hits. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just feel like I, I agree with Eric. I think he did come on, mm-hmm. but I. You know, I'm sure a lot of players don't think about that when they're talking about their grandkids' names, but that's the way they play. I mean, that's just football in general. That's so, just BS bravado talk, too. I mean, yeah, push I mean, comes to shove, he's going to be But, distraught. I mean, all those guys hit hard. Yeah. I mean, that's why they're in the league. Right. And the other little Redskins nugget, you know, I mentioned yesterday the bear bull- bullish thing, which Pete Haley and J.P. Finley are doing for NBC Sports Washington. Yeah. And we talked about – potentially leading the league in sacks because they actually finished number 10 last year. And well, I don't know if they'll added, lead the league, but they're going to be better than right, right. last year. And they added uh, Chase Young. Mm-hmm. So today, or I saw it today, so maybe they posted it yesterday, the topic was about Logan Thomas, who I guess is <laughs> slated to be their number one tight end right now. I told you I was I was pro Logan Thomas when they signed him. So the numbers they throw out there in their bear or bullish column, 500 yards and four plus touchdowns. That would be well, an amazing. I would take yeah. the under on the yardage. Yeah, yeah. That would be amazing just because they haven't gotten that kind of production outside of anybody other than, uh, well, you know, Jordan Reed. I guess I guess maybe Vernon Davis had put up some numbers similar to that, right? I mean, I might go over because if he's the number one guy. Who else is there? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, they, they have other guys. They brought in Richard Rodgers. We, we don't know they're what gonna Thaddeus pr- Moss is going to look like. They'll play Sprinkle. They're still going to play Sprinkle, yeah. I would find it hard to believe that Thomas is going to get 500 <laughs> yards receiving. But I, I guess if he's the number one guy and he gets a, a ton of targets, maybe he could get to that number. I, I just find that to be a high bar a, to set that, for would, him. that would be a really high bar. It'd be amazing. That's a gr- if that happens, they're having a great year. Oh, if he yeah. if he goes 500 yards and four <clears throat> touchdowns, the Redskins uh, the front office is doing cartwheels. They yeah. love that. Yeah. Well, especially because if you look at his career, 3 seasons as a tight end, he has 35 catches for 317 yards. Right. He's right. He's well, got he's a lot of opportunity. He's, lot but he hasn't been a regular starter. Yeah, so. he's a right. science he's a, project is what he is. Yeah. To these teams so far, and now he's going to be thrust into a bigger role. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll believe it when I see it that he's going to be the number one tight end. Somebody actually did bring up a good point, and it might have been JP or one of these guys when I was reading their piece, uh, and and it was that, you know. You think, oh, well, they lost Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis. Well, they didn't really have those guys. Correct. You know, mm-hmm. last year. So any production they get from that position this year is likely to be an upgrade, right? <laughs> to get anything at all because you think, oh, well, you lose these guys. Well, you didn't really lose them. You didn't have them. I haven't had them in a while. Just to give you a little perspective, by the way, on the yards. So 500 yards, would it, it, there were 14 tight ends who had greater than 500 yards last season, mm-hmm. including Jason Witten. Noah Fant, Mike Gusecki, Greg Olson, Dallas Goddard, and then you get into you know some big names. Well, I mean, if Jason Witten could still do it at like 100, why can't <laughs> Logan Thomas do it at 28? You know, just give him the opportunity. The problem is, is uh, as Jason said, they got a rack of guys. They're going to be rotating them. Sprinkle's going to get his. Um, although, who knows? If, if Scott Turner might say, you know what? I'm not a Sprinkle guy. 
<laughs> I'm a Logan Thomas guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? It's a possibility. You know? It's a possibility. It's, well, they're obviously know, high on and they brought them in. Know. Yeah. Well, they brought a bunch of guys in. Like Cake said, the Richard Rod, they, br- they did bring in some other guys. He wishes so. he was like a Zach Ertz guy. Instead, he's got to deal with <laughs> he's got to deal with the this hodgepodge of players at tight end. Right. He wishes he had a stud. I wonder if Haskins has been thrown to any of the tight ends. I know he's been throwing the receivers, but I wonder Dude. if he got any of the tight ends out there.